Hey guys, Clavel here, and today I have a really interesting concept. It is a sort of tree farmer AI kind of thing, kind of um, auto farming where it'll chop down any tree that it comes near within uh, based on the scan radius settings. So uh, right now it's not moving because I have it disabled, but it's going to basically go around and chop down every tree and uh, in a similar way that a player might do it. And uh, this is just a concept, it's not something I'm going to be releasing, but I just thought it might be cool to show you guys. So anyway, I'm going to let it go, and then I'll just talk about it. So let me make the scan radius pretty big, and just let it do its thing. So as you can see there, even this kind of difficult tree, it's able to just go on up, and it's going to work its way in the most efficient path possible. Now it looks a little bit dumb sometimes, just because I haven't quite tweaked the... Uh, radius and whatnot and you might be able to see what I'm doing when you see the big words log here um, but yeah he's going around in the most efficient path kind of to get to these things and just chopping them down the closest one um, so it's been a while I know some of you are really new to my channel and you probably haven't uh, really seen too many of my videos but I like to do these kind of random command things sometimes tutorials sometimes uh, maps and you know all that stuff um, but anyway, I think he finished. Yep, he's all done. So today I just have a cool creation that I wanted to show you just to maybe get some of you inspired to try doing some things because it is these are all possible and it's really cool to see it in action. Now this actually took me a while to make because it starts off of a basic concept and then you just got to branch your way out from there. So the first concept was um, I had to design a way to track the position of things so if i do give a p understand okay so if i put this guy here uh, and then i'll tag him okay so now if i do execute as at e tag equals test run and i'll start to show you some of the things that i had to come up with to make this data path so first is i need to be able to find wood so finding a entity is pretty easy. See this? Entity. Easy. Boom. Found the entity. There's selectors, all that good stuff. But finding a block is actually kind of difficult because blocks don't have any inherent data about where they are. Um, their location normally isn't stored anywhere. This doesn't have any block data uh, associated with it. It's a block, right? But how can I find this block in particular? So the way that you can do that is using, uh, there might be some easier methods, but I just did a method that I thought of, and it's a scanning method. So the scanning method does this. So I'll show you with some wool. So we go here, we're at the armor stand, right? Then we go into the coordinates and we go this way, this way, this way, as far as, so we take the scan radius and we divide it by two, right? And that brings us down to this corner by using some looping and moving methods. Uh, trav X, Trav Y, Trav Z. Uh, no, sorry. Origin X, Origin Y, Origin Z. That gets us to this coordinate down here. Then we use Trav X, Trav Y, Trav Z to go. Uh, so to traverse to the origin, we go uh, basically down. Then we go over. Then we go over the other direction, right? Then to get to the next one, we have to go with this method. So what we do is we go, we fill in, we cover this area, right? Then we move up one and we cover this area. Then we move up one and we cover this area. Then we move up one and we cover this area. Then we move up one, then we cover this area and so on and so on. Then once we finish the vertical plate, we move over one and do it all again. And that lets you cover the entire area. So if I'm using a scan radius of 17, that means it's a 17 by 17 by 17 area or volume that it's checking. So it checks a 17 by 17 plane that's 17 wide. And it's pretty easy to configure uh, what kind of shape you want. Um, it's pretty cool. Maybe I'll, at some point I'll do a tutorial on it, but I'm just trying to get a quick video out there. I'm literally in France right now, so I don't even have my good mic. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. And as you can see, he killed, he did, <laughs> he killed, he destroyed all the trees. Uh, type equals item. He destroyed all the trees, and he used a pretty, 
pretty pretty good method. I mean, it probably could have been better, but it's pretty good. It just goes based on the nearest thing, and then when it gets to the end, it stops moving. Um, and obviously, you could have just checked the area and did slash fill, but I thought it would look a lot cooler to make him move towards the position, which was a little bit more complicated, uh, like figuring out. So once you, uh, instead of tracing all the area and deleting the wood, it traces all the area. Wherever there's a wood, we spawn a little uh, entity in the wood and in the wood. So once we have an entity in the wood, now the entity has information about its position. So now you know the position of the wood, okay? So if you know the position of the wood, you can save the nearest one, the nearest one to be uh, something with the entity. So you can save it, right? You can save the nearest position. Then you can do current position, X, Y, Z, minus uh, X, Y, Z, minus, uh, L, the logs position that you know because the logs not going to move usually um, unless a player breaks it and that will give you the distance that you need to travel and the direction you need to travel so it gives you like a vector so if it's over here and you do this coordinates minus my coordinates it gives me an arrow pointing this way which tells me how much in the x I need to go how much in the z I need to go and how much in the y I need to go so that's all and then what I do is for moving I take that number so if I have at least one so if I have to go this way if I have to go this way at all then it'll give me only one if I have to go this way at all it gives me only one if I have to go up at all it gives me only one that's called a unit vector so it just means just grab the value the magnitude just do I have to go this way if I do have to go this way then it will move this way by a little tiny bit and then recalculate what directions I need to go. So it's constantly doing that minus uh, end minus start, figuring out what direction I need to go. End minus start direction, end minus start direction. And it just does that really fast. And uh, there's not too much lag. It's uh, very efficient, um, but that's pretty much it. So if you guys like that, uh, leave a like or something. And uh, if you wanna see more of this or maybe some tutorials on anything, let me know. Uh, I am gonna release the server as soon as uh, 1.14 bungee cord is out i know some people have been asking but it's really been taking longer than i thought for the devs to create the bungee cord and you can't really have a it's hard to have a server if you don't have a dedicated plugin uh server developers working on it and you're just waiting for the uh, official release of something uh, but anyways guys thanks for tuning in and i'll see you in the next one